It's always a party at Patchworks. Let's get this party started. Woot woot. Hi everyone, this is Julie from Patchworks, and I am so excited that you're joining us for another Must Sew TV tonight here at Patchworks. So tonight, it is May 25th, 2023. We're getting ready for a holiday weekend, but we have some really amazing things to show you. So I'm so excited to all of you who are jumping on and joining us. Make sure to like, share, and comment on this broadcast so that more of our friends can join us. Also, I wanted to make sure that you all knew that we do have a YouTube channel. So if you're watching this on Facebook, you can also watch us on YouTube. And when you watch us on YouTube, make sure to subscribe so that you never miss a video. You can also catch all 200 plus hours of our previous content if you wanna binge watch us for hours on end. <laughs> That's lots of fun. Crazy Julie on the TV all the time. All right, so let's get started. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm gonna make the little ticker tape on the bottom go away there. And we are going to start by looking at our bundle of the week. So if this is the first time you're joining us, just wanted to share with you, we have a bundle of the week that we put together every single week where we feature 12 different fat quarters that I run around the store and pick up. So it's not necessarily one fabric collection. Sometimes it is, most of the time it's not. So it's a patchwork curated collection. Regularly, our fat stacks of 12 fat quarters are $39. However, our bundles of the week are $24.99. They're available in store as well as online. They are limited quantities and only available while they last. All previous bundles of the week are available until they're gone. So, Frank, let's look overhead. So we have these here. And I'm just going to share with you what this one is. I named this one, Why Not Add Some Gnomes? Haha, <laughs> bundle of the week, 525.23. So I added in the center here and I'll talk a little bit more about what this one is. But we have here some really cool wine fabric. So these are wine bottles all tossed all sorts of different directions. We have some wine words. I included this Tim Holtz Eclectic Elements. I thought that the spots kind of look like maybe some wine stains or something, you know. Here's some printed cork. This is some wine kind of chalk drawings, all sorts of different wine names. We have some tossed corks. This one here, this one's a little interesting. So it's a little bit bigger scale. And you can use um, individual pieces, just chop it up. But these are squares. These are printed off center, so by design, so that you don't obsess about them being um, printed on the straight. Kind of fun. We have another eclectic elements here. We have a crackle from Northcott in a beautiful deep Merlot. Gotta have some green, this eclectic element again. I thought it picked up on the leaves there. Some great grapes in two different scales. So, isn't that just amazing? All right, so what can we do with this and why were we inspired by this? Well, I was inspired by this and why did I put that gnome word in the name? Well, isn't this exciting? We have our gnomies with wine in them. Yay, I'm so excited. So back in October when I was at Quilt Market, I ordered all these crazy gnomes and we've been waiting for them for a really, really, really long time and they came this week, so I'm so excited. And so we just checked it in and so it hadn't been checked in before, 
but it's checked in. It's on the website. The And let me get you that code. Let me see, do I have the code? I don't have the code, but it is in the, I'll grab the code for you. It's on the website, on the first part of our website there. I'm just pulling it up here, patchedworks.com. And the very first section of our website always has the bundle of the week. And I put in there what is inspired, what it's inspired by as well. Okay, let me set this in. Do, do, do. There we go. So there's the code so that you can click on it and grab that. And um, in store, online, really super cool. Okay, now what else can we do with it? We have from this wine fabric, we have some other collection things. Other collection things. Yeah, that made a lot of sense. So there is a cheater panel, and this is what I had in the center here. And this is a cheater panel or craft panel, however you want to call it, to make wine holders. So if you gifted these, so this particular panel makes three different ones. You would want to get some lining fabric and maybe some batting. This particular panel is $9.50. It's available in store. Now, if you didn't want to use the cheater panel, but instead you wanted to make your own wine covers, we do have the June Taylor Quilt As You Go so by number the quilt as you go kind of ones here, which are super awesome. So this one has three different pieced wine totes, and this one is $9.99. So that's really cool. Just add your own fabric. That fat stack would work super great for making all three of those. Then we also have a large scale panel that is an apron. So if you're into aprons, this one is super awesome. It has the front and the back. So oftentimes with your aprons, you need to buy backing for it. But this is everything that you need. Oh, and we're going to get Frank to help us. How exciting. Right. All right. <laughs> and Frank says, you got to take a drink now that he's on screen. All right. So <laughs> life happens. Wine helps. Really nice. You have this nice print for your back. Now, if you're not an apron person, this panel is also off is also awesome because you could take these larger motifs. I mean, just look at this. Wouldn't this be a really awesome center of a wall hanging or the center of a quilt or something cool like that? So really fun. And then this also has if you had wanted to put in pockets or if you had wanted to make coasters or you wanted to use those squares for something different. All right, so that is a panel that is $19.99. Okay. Other wine things, I just wanted to show, since I brought out those uh, June Taylor Quilt As You Go items, I wanted to bring out something else. I don't have it done up in wine right now, but one of my favorite, favorite, favorite items that is Quilt As You Go for June Taylor is the Venice Table Runner, as well as the coordinating Venice placemats. So with your Venice Table Runner, you'd absolutely be able to make this with a fat stack. If you wanted to piece your backing, you would have to do that since it's a long piece, or just grab another piece of backing. And this is the table runner done up in a different fabric. We do have strip sets that would be able to make one just like this. But you can see how having some great colors could go for really fun home deck item. This is super, super easy. If you've been watching us for a long time or doing things with us for a long time, you know that I like made one for every single season for a really long time. These are only $12.99 here in the store, and they have the coordinating table run or er, placemats. So in the placemat set, a set of six comes together, so also great for your fat stack. And then just one table runner here. 
This table runner measures 39 by 16 and a half. And it's not really easy to extend it. So when you're using the quilt as you go, you're kind of set to the size that they like. But it is a nice size, as you can see from what I have right here. All right. So I'm going to set aside my wine things. And since we're on the gnome world, what other gnomey things do I have? So, as I was setting up today, I was making up little songs. Sometimes I do that. And a few years ago, we had this um, block of the month called Getting to Know Hugh. And so I would always sing Getting to Know Hugh. And I thought it would be kind of funny to switch that song around and sing Getting to Gnome You. So, or know me. Know me? Getting to gnome me. <laughs> All right, so anyhow, you're welcome for that earworm. You'll be singing that for the next who knows how long. So other new gnomes that we got, we got <gasps> coffee gnomes. I've been waiting for this one. This one is super awesome. He looks like he could be hot chocolate or such. Oh, super, super awesome. Then we also have this one's fun. Super fun. Are you excited? Are you, are you ready for it? We have watermelon gnomes. Watermelon. Okay, because you all need a watermelon gnome table runner. I'm sure you do. Hmm? Sure, let's show it overhead. So we have the gnomes here, and we have a whole bunch of watermelon coordinates in the store. I don't have them here, but we have watermelon coordinates. And then here is the coffee coordinates. Okay, super fun. And while we're overhead, and we just have to show you the scale so it also works with the wine gnomes. Now, quick hopping back to the wine gnomes. I forgot to mention when we were talking wine and we were talking cork. Did you know that we have real cork in the store? And we sell it by the half yard by with a fabric, which is a 54, is it 54 or 58? It's a extra wide. And um, it, this is the Wyndham cork. It has a little bit of cool metallic on here. So this one is sort of a different type of metallic. So it has the gold, silver, and that rose gold different in there. So it's really, really fun and elegant. And then this metallic, is like a rainbow sparkly. Ooh. So it's $22.99 for the half yard chunk that we send, sell. And it is a very nice quality um, vinyl backed cork that you can use in your project. And one of our viewers, Sue, had let us know that on a recent By Annie's program, they demonstrated use of this exact product and then the demonstrator on that program the link to that featured shops that carry this product including our shop and she didn't know that we carried it so i thought i would share with you that we do have it because we these are the only current two pieces of cork that we have in the store so how would you know unless if i tell you all right. And do I have wine cork fabric, Deb? Um, yes, I have the wine cork fabric. So I have a couple different bolts. I have this one here that was included in our 12 pack. And then I also have at least one other one. So I was rearranging some fabric and I was realizing I must have alcohol on the brain or something because Oh goodness, we have more wine, beer, and like hard alcohol prints than we do of like fruits and vegetables. So, you know, apparently we just all need to uh, make fun projects with these theme fabrics. All right. So thanks to everybody who's joining us. Whether you're tuning in right now or you've been here since the beginning, we always love it. 
or you're catching us on the recap because you know it doesn't matter when you watch us we always have fun things to show you so i am going to show you a quilt that was behind us we had shown it to you a couple weeks ago when we first received the projects uh the panel projects with a purpose panel it's called the patchwork panel as well and frank's going to come and help us show it as well here let me see do i have it oh i think i have two here cut okay so if you just want to hold it like this frank this salvage to salvage okay so we can see here there we go and just down a little bit frank okay so in this one two three four five one two three four twenty amazing squares in this yard panel it is 12.99 for the panel and it is a uh, curated selection of beautiful squares featuring the art of different Ruby Star Society designers. And each of these squares also coordinates with fabric collections. Now we don't have all of the fabric collections represented here. However, we have quite a few and we have a lot of really great fabrics that go along with it. And the quilt that I have hanging behind us was a uh, quilt that we put together using the Stay Gold panel, which had been released, oh, a year or two ago, that was the exact same concept. So the designers at Ruby Star Society went ahead and they reimagined the exact same quilt using these squares. So I'm going to put the link up for this quilt because it's a good one. And I wanted to share with you the updated quilt pattern. Here we go. So you can see it there that um, and you can download it. It's a free and downloadable pattern goes together really, really nice. And I believe we made ours just a little bit smaller because we were making ours with 12 fat quarters and the panel. And I believe that the full size quilt uses all 20 blocks. So you can always be able to modify quilts if you had wanted to make them larger or smaller by simply adding or removing blocks to make it the desired size that you like. We have more fun things and so this particular fabric line that I'm going to show you now is the Sunbeam Collection which is a brand new Ruby Star fabric line I have the fat quarter stack here. And Frank, let's look overhead. So we have this available in fat quarter, half yard, and by the yard. If you had wanted the whole, uh, if you had wanted any different combination of fabrics, let us know. We'd be more than happy to cut ahead for you. Super fun. So this here, we have some um, really great background. This is a kind of a white pigment on an off-white background. The same with the dove here. Really nice low volume. So in this collection, there are 27 different fabrics. And it this fat quarter tower is $87.75. And I think that these ladies are just super fun. Super, super fun. Let's see if I'm going to be able to make it or if I'm going to run off screen here. So all these fabrics are new and on new coloring, on trend. 
work super great. And if you haven't been in the store lately, I put the Ruby Star fabric, uh, I put the art gallery fabric next to the Ruby Star fabric because I thought it went really well together. So we have two fabrics that are kind of really nice, this taupey brown as a nice accent color that picks up on the line work in that um, tiger there. So uh, really all of these contemporary fabrics go really well together and we wanted to assemble the assortment in the store so that you could shop across brands by color. And we hope you enjoy that. So this is Sunbeam, available on, in store and online. And once again, always let us know if you are looking for um, different cuts or bundles that we don't have. And feel free if you see something, and let's just say um, both of these fat quarter bundles and half yard bundles get gobbled up, let us know because we'd be more than happy to cut more for you of the new collections that came in. The only thing that we can't cut more of are something like the bundle of the week because we have limited quantities of those. All right, so as I'm setting these aside, I hope everybody's enjoying all the great fabrics that we have for you today. So, we're going to jump now, since we are talking moda, I'm going to talk just a little bit about Glimmer and Gleam, which is Moda. That is the ongoing block of the month that we have been working on. I'm just hopping over to pick up the pack. So I was looking to present to you block month five when Moda had their month five up on their blog. They don't have it quite yet. Um, they've been working on a lot of really, really amazing things this month. But no worry, we have some fun tips and tricks for you. We do have one, we were able to get the background back, so we were able to assemble one more kit of the Glimmer and Gleam. We will be able to make more next month. We are expecting a shipment of some additional colors that we've been waiting on, which will be super awesome. And I believe that Moda is going to kind of do a pseudo relaunch of this program as well because uh, it was just so popular and so they ran out of a lot of grunges and now that every, all the shop owners are going to be able to have this back in stock, we'll be able to share more information with that. So I have a link here, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I have a link for the kind of a little bit of an overview of this. And as we kick off summer, we'll also be spending a little bit more time on that. So that was a link to the kickoff of really introduction to the Glimmer and Gleam project. So let's take a peek at our month five blocks. And it is a really nice, easy month here that we have. We are making these really great, just move this to the side here so that I can show you. All right, so we have some sawtooth stars. Oops, here we are, we're overhead. Okay, sawtooth stars. We have several different ones. Now the cool thing about this Glimmer and Gleam is that it is that sampler with uh, an irregular setting because there's different size blocks. So all of these happen to be the same size. And then we're making some filler. Now you can see here for this one, this one's a little interesting. We're going to be using our advanced skills where we have a little bit of a partial seam because of the irregular grid. It's going to be interesting with our assembly. So that really is real. That's really how we're making it. Okay, it's okay. And then we have this larger block here. Frank, let's look ahead so that we can see this guy in its full glory. This is one of the bigger blocks, and it's in all purple, and oh, the purple is just so glorious. Okay, we also have a bunch of four patches that we're making for the border. 
So let's look back overhead and we are just going to retouch on a more basic um, concept. But when we're making our flying geese, so the flying geese would work with a block like this, right? So there's a few different ways that you can make flying geese. The method that we're talking about in this pattern is the connector style flying geese. So what we do is we sew squares to rectangles. You start with a square that is the size of the unfinished size of that block. And then what you do is you attach a square that is the size of the height of the block, okay? We'll draw a line down the center, sew the line down the center. You'll want to make sure that it really reaches the end here, okay? So when you press it, it will reach the edge. And you can go ahead and cut away your excess. Either press to one side or press open. And then you'll repeat the process on the other side, okay? Attaching your square, drawing your line, stitching your line. You're going to want to cut off your excess. And then you have your perfect flying goose connector style, okay? The other thing that we're going to want to talk about is uh, the efficient way of making half square triangles. So making your half square triangles for the giant block in the center, right? How would you do that? Well, you can cut every all your triangles apart and sew them back together. But what I do recommend is that you start with squares. You pair your squares together. You use your quick quarter ruler. You draw your lines on your stitch lines. I prefer to draw my lines on my stitch lines rather than down the center. I sew on those lines, cut them apart, and then end up with the two pieces. When you are following patterns, make sure to read whether or not you're supposed to trim up your half square triangles after you've constructed them. Some patterns have you trim them up. Others have had you precision piece them to be just the size that they're supposed to be and only have you trim off the tails. So depending on your pattern, you will want to make sure that you follow those instructions. So if you have just a quick little tip here, if you have a pattern that reads that you're cutting squares to the 7 eighths of an inch increment, typically those mean no trimming. But if you have things in whole or half inch increments, those would typically allow for trimming up just a titch before you piece it into the rest of your quilt. So that is our tip of the month for our Glimmer and Gleam. I'm super excited because I know that we've had a couple um, very, very, very ambitious quilters who have gone ahead and finished their quilt. And I'm excited to share those with you. Um, for those of you who are just starting or are following along with us, don't feel any pressure because we are just having a lot of fun and we're only at month five. So, and as I said, in summer, we're going to do a soft relaunch and kind of catch everybody up for those of you who want to start when we have more kits available for sale because it is a great, great, great quilt that goes together super nice and it is a fun little project. All right. So what should we look at now? Should we look at more new fabric? More new fabric, more new fabric. All right, well, I told you that um, most of the time, once we get into May and June, we're mostly receiving the holiday fabrics. And now you're like, oh, Julie, it's just nice outside. Now I don't wanna sew for the holidays. But you know what? You gotta start thinking about it if you do like holiday projects because now is when we start getting all of the amazing fabrics. And so if you're looking at getting something, um, you have the best selection when you shop earlier. But of course, we buy enough holiday fabric so that we have seasonal fabric all year long for all of the different holidays. My favorite holiday is Halloween. And 
this year is not disappointing at all. I'm so excited. So I'm going to show you first one called Scaredy Cats. Not to be confused with a line last year called Scaredy Cat. This is Scaredy Cats, plural. And I am going to share with you the fat quarter bundle that we have here. So there's 18 fabrics in the line, uh, 1550 for the 18 fat quarters. We'll look overhead at the fabrics. So this is from Wyndham Fabrics. And we have scattered cats. Oh, and I mean, just look at these cats. I guess it's called scaredy cats, so that would be appropriate. But I mean, they're like so cute, like little cat in a ghosty costume. So cute. Or little cat, which is brew. Oh, boo. I, I just love it. So scaredy cats. We have some really nice blenders here. I love, love, love this star. So it is this really soft white background with really pale gray, medium gray, dark gray. And then this soft, soft, I mean like I'm matching the fabric here. So it's a softer color of this. So I must be on trend. Then we have some good words. I love words. Some good spider webs on a white background. Stars with orange. Spider webs on orange. A really cool little stripey here. Words on orange. Words on purple. Purple texture. And this is just really a nice, a nice texture. It doesn't even have to be Halloween. Then we have all the witches' hats, which has no cats, just hats. I might like this one better with the orange or the black, the orange flying geese here. Super cool. Black background, black stars, white words on black, and the hats on black. Love, love, love it. So this little cat print here is only available on a gray background. Look at it. Uh, so cute. All right. So this one also has a panel. So Frank, let's look at this panel. Okay. It's called Happy Haunting. Don't be a scaredy cat. Oh, and he's taller, so he can help us. So hold it up a little bit taller here. Look at that. Don't be a scaredy cat. But look at these little guys. They're so cute. Do, 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 do. So any panel pattern would work really, really well. Our um, easy panel worksheet where you just take this 24 inch panel and do an inner border, little cornerstones, an outer border, cornerstones, perfect, perfect, perfect. Or if you had something else that you'd like, also works well. You could also subcut it so that you just use the phrases or however, however, but it's a really fun panel. The panel is $8.99, such a great value. And we have fat quarter bundles of all to 18. And then we also have yardage available. Let us know if there was anything you had needed with that. Then we have a little bit more serious, okay? So for uh, fabric for Halloween. So if you get scared of Halloween things, you might have to only listen to us for a couple of minutes, okay? Because this one's a little scarier, all right? But um, so some people like the scary, so that's why we have to just get all parts of Halloween. It's nothing gory, don't worry. The, this particular line is called Storybook. It's by Rachel Hauer. And Rachel Hauer is the tattoo artist, or one of the tattoo artists for Tula Pink. And she had a line last year called Scaredy Cat. So not Scaredy Cats, but Scaredy Cat, singular, that was a little bit scarier. So the last year's Scaredy Cat does go and carry forward into this year's line. I have some project inspiration for you as well but I'm going to show you this amazing fabric. So it is 13 coordinates with two panels, and let's look overhead. So 
the favorite piece of the line. Well, there's lots of favorite things. So this is Hexies. Look at this. So it's printed Hexies and super, super fun, super cute. We have words. I love words. Did I tell you that? I love words. Then, oh my goodness, we have these jack-o'-lantern faces. But get this, we have cat face too. It's so cute, so cute. Okay, now we have some cats. Now we have a cat teapot, okay? Oh, this is just so amazing. So it's kind of that vintagey off color, right? Teapot, witch's brew. I love these teacups. I want teacups just like that. Then we have crazy coffins with skulls. And yes, we've had requests. We need to look into getting the paper pieces, coffin blocks. I haven't told Frank yet. There you go. Now I have. <laughs> then we have these really cool bat stripes. So I like how she has them printed that it could be a stripe. Okay, so you have that stripe element in there. Okay, so this is where this is, these two pieces are a little scary. Okay, so if you get scared, you can close your eyes for a second. Okay, so these are like kind of realistic bats. Okay. Then we have a very serious, spooky looking cat looking at the jack-o'-lanterns. But look at this beautiful, beautiful, like the l vine, the leaf in there is just great. And then we have... Well, this is, this is an interesting one, and this is um, a smaller version of what's in the large panel. So we have a cat dancing with um, a crow and a bat and a rat. Or maybe it's a raven. I'm not sure. We'll have to ask Ra Rachel. And then, in non-scary world, we have some really cool rickrack, some cool... Potions, Ooh, potions. Then we have <gasps> Ooh, the spooky witch or er, the spooky witchy cat, and some ghosts. So I have a couple panels that go along with this line, and. The panels, we're going to get Frank again. This is exciting. So we have first a block panel. So there's six blocks in here. This is a 24-inch repeat panel. And these are probably 10-inch blocks-ish. And then, and so that particular panel is... I don't know. But the yard panel that I have here is $11.96. So my guess is that that one's probably $8.99-ish, somewhere about there. I'll confirm. And then this one here, this is the four friends, the little coven of the cat, the rat, the bat, and the crow or the raven, all dancing about with their witch hats. So. The ghost, the ghost is just dancing around them, singing with them. Do 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 do, right? Okay, so <laughs> I have some project inspiration for you, and that project inspiration we are going to share my screen. And I really love how Free Spirit has gone out and given us some really amazing pieces to play with. Um, so Fran wants to know if anything that I'm showing you right now is glow in the dark. So these two lines are not. However, I do have other glow in the dark fabric in store. And while I'm showing you this, Frank might go and find it for us. So let me share my screen here. Yep, it's that way. Okay, so we have uh, a spellbound quilt and pillow pattern. And let me get you this link. So this is 
featuring storybook. So it uses those pillow or it uses those block panels here. So it uses all six of them or five of it uses five of them and then for that like the X of the tic-tac-toe and then the alternating pieces are from other yardage. So this one finishes 75 inches square and let's just take a peek here because it's going to tell us how big those those panels are. So I said 10 inch panels so you're fussy cutting them to 10 and a half inch for those square panels. So let me get you this link here. So the link for this one is right here. And then the next one that I want to share with you is a little bit scarier. This one is the one featuring the panel. So it has a really nice uh, candy corn border here. And it's called Tricks and Treats Wall Hanging. It is 56 by 50 and a quarter, but it takes that yard panel and borders it out. I have that link for you as well. Then I have, if you like the concept of those borders, but maybe we're a little freaked out by that panel, I have a super cool pattern for you that is a table runner. And that table runner is just the border. So you could make it as long as you wanted, but the pattern as shown is 15 and 5 eighths, so 15 and a half by 79 or 80. So you could make it as long or as small as you'd like. And let me just check to see if I have any other ones that I wanted to show you. Oh, this one's funny. So those are the three free patterns. And then they also have um, some for purchase pattern inspiration. And I just had to share this one with you because this quilt is called If Frank Were a Quilter Quilt. So I just had to share this with you. I mean, seriously, if Frank were a quilter. So I don't know. What do you think? If Frank were a quilter, would he make that one? Because he loves bats and cats and, and Halloween. So he can't see my screen. So he has no idea what I'm showing you. But that one here, I'm just going to share that with you as well in case if you were interested in more information about that. So I hope some of it was inspiration for you. And this particular fabric line, I don't think I shared with you which one it was. So it is the storybook. And that was $42.25 for the 13 fat quarters. We do have a collection on the front page of our website for that as well. So to answer Fran's question, what Halloween fabric do we have that is glow in the dark? So we have in a brand new line called Witch's Night Out that I had shared back a couple weeks ago with you. And we'll look overhead so that I can show you the wonderful bolts. And so this is super fun. I don't have any pictures of it showing you exactly the glow. We probably also have a few other leftovers from previous Halloweens. And I do also have right now a space glow in the dark, which is super fun. Oh, isn't this these little skeletons? Can't you just see them dancing? Do, 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 do. And then we have, oh, these are some dancing ghosts dancing around at the party, at the Halloween, at the masquerade ball. A really cool uh, border here. And I think we have a panel on this one as well. We're not going to grab it at the instant. I am going to um, share with you, I'm going to quick hop on the front page of our website to be able to share with you what that collection link would be. And which is night out? It was a, we got it pretty early. Huh. We got it pretty early. It might even I might have bumped it off. Can you believe it? I bumped it off our website. How is that possible? 
Oh my goodness. Just gonna quick find it for you here, fabric. It won't bring up it won't bring up the collection, Frank, if I do it by number. So and fun fact, if you had ever wanted to you can absolutely find uh, fabrics on our website by typing in the number that was on the end of the bolt that would also be the number on your receipt. Huh, who knew? Okay, I'm going to get you this link. So here you go. Okay. Next up, I have for you more fabric, right? Do I have more fabric for you? Probably. I have more fabric. I have more Halloween fabric because I love Halloween. <laughs> so we have some Tim Holtz fabric that came in. So the Tim Holtz is a combination. It's called Frightful. And he did a combination of canvas and prints this time. And he's doing the same thing with his Christmas as well. So it's going to work backwards with other things that he's done, but he wanted to introduce other substrates. So, you know, that's really fun. We had done uh, his Embark canvas a little bit earlier in the year, and so this is adding to the collection for that. First, I'm going to show you the non-canvas pieces. So, Frank, let's look overhead. We just have a few different eclectic elements, and so Tim Holtz likes to do that whole collage vintage vintage-y, found items. So this is like um, newsprint with some Argyle Distressed stamped over it. Here we have some more print. This is cursive writing. I'm not quite sure exactly what it all says um, or what it's about, but it's super cool because it's words. That's why it's super cool. We have some orange and black. And then, let me see, do I have anything else that's not canvas? I think I have one more eclectic element that's not canvas. And as I said, a lot of this goes backwards into stuff that we have, and so this is um, it's not quite that giant. You can see my hand here, but this is super fun that it has all of these great, super scary words on it. Love the words. So the collection here can be found on the front page of our website under Frightful, and that link is right here. Okay. Now, we have also, as I said, the canvas that goes with it. So this Embark canvas is a little bit lighter weight, and so you could make some grown-up trick-or-treat bags. This has some flying crows. I think these are crows and not ravens. What do you think? Are they ravens or crows? And so these are over-stamped over, -stamped over uh, what looks to be newsprint. And then, oh, this one is cool. So this one, this is just a really interesting collage here. Edgar Allan Poe, I need some of this. Do you know I have Edgar Allan Poe in my Christmas village? It's super awesome. I just thought I had to share that with you. And then we have this one, which is a cool stripe. So if you needed, either a spooky trick-or-treat bake or a adult trick-or-treat bake, or you need to bake just, you know, an everyday bake for yourself using Halloween fabric, this could be super great. 
So you'll find these pieces as well in the Frightful section of the website. And the Embark canvas is $16.48 a yard. It is 100% cotton canvas, um, a little bit lighter weight than some of the other canvases that are out there. So this could also be used in a quilt. If you were using it in a quilt, I probably would pre-wash it so that uh, if there is any different type of shrinkage that you'd realize that before it was inside your quilt. All right. All sorts of fun things today. I don't have any new Christmas fabric for you today. I do want to highlight uh, a couple other holidays that we have coming up. So for Memorial Day, it might be a little too soon to be making something for that, but we have a lot of patriotic things that are coming up this summer, right? Well, between it Memorial Day and then 4th of July. So we have a, I think I've shown this to you a couple different times. We have a 20 pack of our hand cut, vintagey looking patriotic strip sets. Regularly priced at $19.99. We have a few left and the special price on that is $9.99. So this is a really, really, really great price. That is in our bundle of the week. Uh, section of our website and I'm going to grab that link for you right away just so that you have it because well you need to have the link because it's just super great so that is right here okay and then unrelated to that Frank is going to come back because we have a great panel so the panel that we have here is our Celebrate the Seasons, Let Freedom Ring. Nope. Sideways. Okay, got it. All right, so this is one of those panels that it has the 24 inch repeat here, and then it has all of the extra fabric that if you had wanted to make the border and backing of it, so these celebrate the season panels are $26.99. Okay, $26.99. So that is that one. And then I also have a June one. So Frank, you get to hold this one too. This one is a Father's Day one. And I have this one. Nope. So this one is Happy Father's Day. It's the only piece of fabric that I've ever seen that says Happy Father's Day on it. So it's a Celebrate the Seasons, got that. And then you also have this piece right here which has all sorts of great things. So, you know, for your father that wears ties, plays baseball, works with tools, plays guitar, all of the things, all of the things men like, right Frank? Sure. All the things men like. So you have that there and I have that one specially priced for us. And so let me get that link for us for the specially priced Father's Day. Regularly priced $26.99. I have it specially priced for us at $14.99 while they last. So, no oh, Frank wants there to be beer on there. So we have enough beer fabric if you want to back it in beer or if you want to applique some beer on there. You could even, you know, we have a whiskey bottle you could put on there. All sorts of really great things. You know, we have some motorcycle fabrics. So you could toss a motorcycle on there too. So many options. Okay, so those are really great things. Then, what else do we have? Well, last week I showed you Kim Schaefer's brand new fabric line, which was Give Thanks, which is an autumnal kind of thanksgiving -y line. And I showed you a free pattern for Give Thanks here. And several of you asked if we could put a kit together for that. So we did, and we have that available for you. I didn't check to see if it's online quite yet. Send me a message if you're interested in one. We can cut a bunch more if you like as well. I love this one that is just this really great courthouse step pattern, super cool. It is $124.99. The quilt finishes 60 by 84. You need five and a half yards of backing and we have them in stock ready to go. So that is super exciting. 
I think I checked when I was getting a thing. So it's it's not online. I shouldn't say I think it's not. It's not online. I will get it online so that you can see it. And we do have this whole fabric line on the front page of our website. So that uh, kit would be included in there. Then, guess what starts next week? Frank, what starts June 1st? What starts June 1st? Oh, but of course, Frank, it is the Wisconsin State Shop Hop. Isn't that exciting? Yay! So we are in Section 8. The Wisconsin State Shop Hop starts June 1st and runs the entire month of June. Uh, participating shops are open Tuesday through Saturday. So for us, it's our regular hours. I think I might have to be open an extra hour on a Saturday. I, whatever it says here that I need to be open, I'll be open. So stores should be open 10 to 5. So it's going to be our regular hours, and then we'll just be around a little bit later on Saturdays. So we have the fabric. Now, I can't sell it to you until Thursday, but I needed to let you know that in addition to the yardage and the panels, we have two Patchworks, Patchworks Unique kits, each of which will have free patterns for when you stop in or when you buy uh, Shop Hop fabric. We have pre-cut grab and goes of the half yards, fat eighths, and fat quarters of 12 fabrics. So there's 12 fabrics, two panels, and uh, coordinating solids. So super, super exciting. These will go live on our website on June 1st as well as being available in store. So we are excited to see you. We are also participating in our section eight in a super fun uh, project. It's called um, the Rubber Ducky Hunt. So it's a hide and seek in each of the shops in section eight. And if you finish section eight and find all the duckies, you get a fun little tote bag. How fun is that? So lots of fun things. We will have our June 1st, which is the next time that I see you on Must Sew TV. We'll be dedicating the time to um, our Shop Hop fabric and inspiration. We'll be having some other things, but no, our bundle of the week will not be the Shop Hop fabric. That wouldn't be fair, uh, but we'll have lots of really fun things. The other thing that is super exciting starting in June is we are getting a coffee shop back next to us. Yay, it's finally happening. So Fairgrounds Coffee is going to be doing a soft opening on June 1st and officially opening on June 2nd. So that is super exciting that starting next month or in just next week, you'll be able to get coffee here. Yay, I mean, not here, here, but next door here. So that's really exciting that um, that's happening. So. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So that's lots of fun things to show you and share with you. So we had some free patterns for you. We had some great new Halloween fabric. We had our bundle of the week. Oh goodness, all sorts of amazing things. So before I just do a recap of our bundle of the week, does anybody have any questions for me? All right, I'm gonna grab our bundle of the week. And we'll look back on the screen in case if anybody has any questions. Lots and lots and lots of fun stuff and lots of new fabric coming in. We're doing a little bit of a store rearrange so that it's going to be fresh and exciting for the next time that you're here. Always looking to move things around. We also want to share with you that we still have um, some really good steals and deals left over from our skinny bolt event. So I moved those down to the featured collection on our website. You'll want to check those out and keep in mind that most of those are onesies. We have a couple things of the wide backs that are twosies, but we have our wide backs and our cuddle cuts in there that are all part of our skinny bolt sale. I will be sharing with you what the date of our June skinny bolt event will be, date to be determined. So Frank, let's look overhead as a recap of the amazing, amazing bundle of the week that we have. 
yes, we are open regular hours on Friday. That's tomorrow and Saturday during the holiday weekend. So we do not have any modified hours. So we are open tomorrow from 9.30 to 5.30, and we are open Saturday from 9 to 4, closed our regular Sunday and Monday. Thank you for asking, Diane, so I can share that with everyone. I'm missing a piece. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, goodness. Frank, Frank is on the ball. He's seeing all of the things. Well, there's another beautiful fabric in here that I lost. So it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We have another beautiful piece of fabric that goes along with it. Oh, the corks, because I pulled out the corks to show somebody. So we also have the cork fabric in there right here. Thank you so much. All right. Very, very good. So that is our bundle of the week that is still available. All right. So... Thank you so much for joining us as always. We appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedules to spend time with us. If you had any questions that I didn't address, make sure to message them or send me an email, give me a call. I'll be, I'll be more than happy to set fabric aside for you, make special cuts or answer anything that you need. Happy quilting and we'll see you soon.